Hi Gemini, welcome back to Peony Lore where we help you to find the beauty in all things. So this is going to serve for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Gemini from the 27th through the 3rd of October. Yes, I realize you're not seeing this until Tuesday, but Mercury retrograde kicked my behinder and there it is. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so we're going to go back to doing the weekly... Um, little less focus on the astrology pieces unless something really pops out to me but i am pulling a separate card for the sun the rising and the moon sign for each um, of the zodiacs here just to give it a little bit extra and so you would be encouraged to maybe take a look at your chart if you know it the other card that i'm going to pull that sits on top of those is also going to be a starseed oracle um, it's time for people to get on mission so let's see what we can do to help you out with that so as always we're going to start with our um, sacred geometry okay which will tie all of you together and then we'll get into the daily details here okay so this is for all Gemini Sun Moon and rising sign for um, okay well there it is oh, super super in tune today people all right guys what we have here is card 38 reducing down to 11 universe putting you on mission with your gratitude acknowledgement of the blessings that you already have Please make sure that you are focused on that, Gemini. It's very, very important for your balance to make sure that you are being uh, and calling in the thanks for what it is that you already have to continue that energy and then therefore allow the new to sort of, uh, sort of show up for you. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pull down the cards for uh, each day. We're going to go Monday and then all the way through Sunday. I'm using the Psychic Tarot deck here. I was guided to use it this particular week. Um, <clears throat> we will, of course, do clarifiers with the White Sage Tarot deck. I will use the Angel cards as I'm guided to do it. Um, but like I said, you do have um, we do have specifics for Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign for Gemini. So... All right. And you know, every sign has basically gotten this eight of rods. This is uh, all about information. Wow. Two, three major arcana on the board are right after each other. Let me get the energy for Saturday, please, for our Gemini. Gemini, Saturday and Sunday, please. Woo. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And wow. Whoa. Okay, so so far, um, Gemini, you and um Scorpio had the most major arcana for the week. So I don't know. Take a look at that. <sighs> All right. And while I look at these, I'm going to pull the sun, moon, and rising specific card for you. Okay. Gemini Sun, please. Wow. That's, wow. Good reading. Okay. Gemini Sun. <clears throat> so you have two cards, Gemini Sun. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, you do. Gemini Rising. Thank you. Interesting. Gemini Moon, please. Ooh, two cards. Thank you. Three cards. What? Wow. Is this... A yep, okay. They said leave them right where they are. We will dig into the individual sections for these at the end of the reading. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and um, start with what it is that we see for this week for you guys. Okay, so... First and foremost, what this is all about is, um, I feel for most of you guys, it's going to be romantic. You've got a lot of romance that is in the energy that we have here. On Monday, we have the energy of temperance, which is patience, okay? Sagittarius energy. Um, a change in circumstance, basically, with the relationship, I feel. Now, we are in Mercury retrograde, and we always say that this, this is the time where galactically everything slows backwards a little bit in order for you to review rewind refresh rejuvenate rest do all those different types of things and re-examine 
relationships as well. So they can be personal, domestic relationships. They can also be business types of relationships. But there is a high need of encouragement to review those different types of things. So this doesn't really shock me at all. Okay. What we do show up here today on Tuesday is the Spiritual Strength card. This has popped up several times um, for the other readings that I've done as well. Spiritual Strength, the Nine of Rods. Something has um, been brought to your attention where you've kind of been there, done that multiple times, and the universe is saying, yeah, you got one more in you. We, we got this. Those other things that you did, you, you passed the marker, you've passed the test. Now we're asking you to do um, one more type of a thing here. Second time that the nine and the eight sit next to each other, I think it was either Aries or Libra where this combination showed up in the same space. So just might be meaningful for you if you have those in your chart. But we have the accelerated motion card that shows up. So a lot of signs have actually received this card, the eight of rods. Um, but again, it showed up specifically in one of those two readings <clears throat> in this position. Fast communication coming on Wednesday. Um, even though we are, and some people get freaked out about signing contracts, it's not about that as much as it is reviewing the details, making sure that you are speaking your piece when it comes to it. Be very, very thorough in the review. So, a lot of communication. Gemini, but the other thing that comes up with the Eight of Rods, and I have to bring it up because I do feel that this is more romantic -y than not, is Arrows of Love. Okay, that is what the original depiction looks like in the Rider Waite Smith deck is that the Eight of Rods had these little arrows on them. So arrows of love. So more communication coming through. When we get to Thursday's energy, we get the high priest just hanging out in the wind here saying, please trust your intuition, but also there could also be more information that um, High Priestess wants to be able to share with you than you have capability of uh, being aware of at this particular moment. When we get to Friday's energy, we have judgment that shows up. Now in this card, it's called truth, but this is the judgment card that shows up here. So judgment can be you making a judgment towards someone or someone making a judgment towards you, but it also is being able to receive, I say this all the time with judgment, second chances, second opportunities, um, rebirth, reconciliation as a huge potential for a lot of different people. Okay, so take that for how it is or however it meets your particular situation, if it does, okay, for, for your situation. On Saturday's, uh, Saturday's card, we have the Four of Swords energy. So arrest and rejuvenation literally is what this card is titled. It's rest after battle, especially after hearing a lot of conversations, okay? Um, this has a lot to do with receiving downloads from the universe as well. So I feel very, very strongly that this has a lot to do with relationships for you. Um, and the other relationship that is important is you with your higher self. So I feel very strongly that that's what this is, is, is boiling down to. So receiving those downloads from the universe, okay? And then at the end of this, we have the Hope card, also known as the Star card. Um, another major arcana, Aquarius energy coming through. That expansive creator energy, wanting to make something new happen. Um, that's the energy that we get here. Very, very interesting. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull um, out uh, the numerology. This is for all sun, moon, and rising for Gemini. Okay, let's see what we have for our Gemini here. Along with the gratitude, what else do we have? Ooh, well, I just, well, let's do that again. Thank you. Yeah, I knew it was going to be more than one, but I just wasn't sure. That's okay. Alrighty, so we have two cards. The first one is nature. <laughs> nature, nurture, nature, 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 nature. Nurture yourself in nature is one of the things that I want to say. Um, let nature take its course is the other thing that's popping into my brain. Um, also, 11 energy, the universe is trying to guide you in a specific way. Of course, this is a free will planet. You can make up your own decision, but it does look like there could be some additional guidance that's coming towards you. But also, with regards to your stability, they're saying effort. I don't know if you can see that with the dark yellow background, but this is talking about effort in your stability, okay? 
So that four energy, right? That um, eleven eleven energy again. It's almost like the energy of the four of rods uh, trying to come through. How much effort you put into something is the effort that you're going to be able to withdraw um, as well. So balance is kind of what I'm getting out of that particular energy there. Okay, let's go ahead and do the details for each of the different cards here. So again, what I feel very strongly is this is a lot to do with partnerships. I feel this has a lot to do with um, um, what it is that you've been hoping for um, to flourish out of a relationship, okay? Re regardless of how the relationship or situationship happens to be. Let's see what we've got here. We've got the Patience card. Temperance, Sagittarius energy right there on Monday. Let's see what else we have. Well, there we go. We have the hangman sitting right on top of that. Asking you to go in and take a knee a little bit. Receive a different version of perspective. Um, prior energy. Where's the current energy with this temperance that moves into the remainder of this week? We have the nine of cups in the reverse position. So what this is indicating is that there's some... A need for you to figure out what that means for you for what that nine of cups would indicate having all of the things that you want and yeah the eight of cups has a lot to do with reviewing something that you had considered walking away from in the past position okay so that actually is good energy what the universe is saying is before you make a hasty decision let's make sure that you review all the details be patient about the things that we're going to share and reveal so that you can have time to really put your your stamp on it okay so today's energy the spiritual strength card let's see what we have you got the world in a reverse position Tying up loose ends is required. Not finished with the cycle until you do that. Oh, my goodness gracious, you guys. Okay, so we've got a we've got a story here, and I'm gonna stick with it. Okay. So tying up loose ends or something needed to be addressed from the past with the three of cups that is in the reverse position, perhaps three individuals or three different energies that are coming into play here, all tied towards Jupiter's wheel of fortune moments that want to be able to come up and show up in your environment. Still having a lot to do with this four of swords energy, resisting going in and receiving the messages from spirit that we're going to offer you this information about this page of cups or this new emotional moment. So really kind of being a little bit too much in the monkey mind, if you will. Um, they're definitely trying to get your attention and it's like you're not hearing, you're not hearing them, you're not feeling them, you're not perceiving them um, for some specific reason. So that's just a heads up. Okay, because there is some sort of unfinished business that must be cleared up for you. The world card with this three of um, cups can be three individuals or, or three different scenarios um, that are showing up here, but there's definitely something that needs to be addressed. Okay, so we're going to put that forward. The Jupiter card, the Wheel of Fortune, does say that there is an opportunity, just like the Pluto card, or excuse me, just like the, um, well, yeah, um, the hangman that. I can't, I did it again. <laughs> Just like this card. Um, we have the hangman energy and we also have the judgment card that shows up. Second chances, second opportunities for reconciliation. Okay, that's what Jupiter is talking about. Okay. <laughs> Wednesday's energy. Okay. Accelerated motion, messages of love, increased communication, things of that particular nature. Let's see what we've got going on here for Gemini. We have the Ten of Pentacles in the past position. So having a lot to do with family, having a lot to do with um, collaborating um, together, having a lot to do with, um, what's the word I want to use? Legacy is the word I want to use. I really feel strongly this is relationship based. A lot of money on the table. I feel a lot of this has to do with, um, yeah, has a lot to do with expansion uh, I really feel that this has a lot to do with expansion. So there's more information that's coming. Legacy. There's another card that wants to pop out. So we have the death card and we have the queen of cups. 
So the death card is upright. The queen of cups is in the reverse position. So what this is telling me, yeah, here we go. So what this is telling me is that we have, <clears throat> well, you got Leo that's coming into play here towards the end of the week for sure because Leo goes into its moon position here on Thursday. But what was going on in the past, which was making you feel good, was this Ten of Pentacles moment, right? Legacy, having all the things, being very solid, but enough to be able to share and move on with other people. With the Death card paired with the Queen of Cups in the reverse position, so Scorpio energy for sure, a lot of water energy, whatever was going on, the Queen of Cups no longer feeling comfortable in her skin, um, regardless of whether it's male or female, very, very moody, um, just not able to, like, kind of standoffish energy, I guess is how I would put it towards people, but there is a restoration that's coming because the strength card that shows up here, okay, the Leo energy that we have does talk about you're expressing yourself, a lot of energy with heart and solar chakra, the heart chakra and solar chakra is really hitting me with this, with this one right here, okay, now, the strength card does indicate that there is a healing that's on its way as well. So there's a couple healing cards that we have here already on, on the deck. Okay. So temperance for sure. The strength card showing up here for sure. Um, I feel that this has a lot to do with, you know, nurture, na nature, nurture, nurture yourself. Okay. Cause something's not quite, I feel that something is not quite right. Um, yeah. Something is unfinished and something needs to be addressed. But that's that's the energy that I have for Wednesday. If I get anything else out of it, I will pull that up. However, the high priest is showing up on Thursday. There's some information that you may not know about, but it's also about not challenging your intuition on things as well. Okay, so let's see what the high priestess wants to tell our Gemini here. We have four of wands in the reverse position. I told you that's the energy I was getting out of this. Um, happy home, happy business life. Something is amiss. Okay. High Priestess is trying to share something with you. In the past, that's the energy that we had showing up for the past here, Gemini. The Hermit mode, we got Virgo energy resisting. Hermit in the reverse position is no bueno. <laughs> Major resisting going in and examining those, de those details, whether it's home or business. Okay, there's a resistance that's there from wanting to realize what's being revealed. We have the Emperor, we got Aries energy that's showing up here, and this has a lot to do with boss mentality. So what I feel out of this one very specifically is that there, I definitely feel that there's more than two people that's going on here, Gemini, and that would explain why I got three cards here in the moon position. But what I do feel at the end of the day is that the information that you need is coming. Okay, with the high priestess that's sitting there. And this has a lot to do with what's going on with home or business. Um, the ultimate happiness of the mix here, Virgo and um, the emperor energy that's showing uh, showing up here, self, self will. But that Virgo in the reverse position is kind of like where I want to live right now because that Virgo energy in reverse, again, it's like resisting going in and seeing the energy. So for some, I feel that this energy could be this Aries that's not seeing something. Very specifically is what I'm getting at it, that this Aries person is not seeing kind of what's going on here. And Gemini, I feel that you are going to be very responsible for sharing or imparting knowledge that's going to get this person to feel this next piece of, of what needs to happen. Organization, really, really, really coming out of this. Organizing their thoughts, self-will. Again, um, the chakras that I'm getting are a lot of solar energy, solar plexus. Um, and the Virgo energy for me is really up, up, about communication, uh, communication about what's going on physically with somebody, I feel. Moving forward, wherefore we have the judgment card that shows up here on Friday, second chances, second opportunities, balancing the scales in a way, I know it's not the Libra card, but it's balancing um, kind of what's going on, second opportunities, reconciliation for some people, 
rebirth, renewal, refresh. Let's see. Oh, thank you. That was fast. Ace of Swords. Potentially some news came out of the situation or will be coming out of the situation. There it is. The Chariot card. Cancer information. Fast movement is required here. The Chariot card. Forward momentum. Fast, fast energy. And then we have the higher font in the reverse position here, future. So, again, organization comes out of this for me. Um, unconventional. This is going to sound really weird, but there's an unconventional treatment for someone that maybe is going through a healing process is going to be revealed and it's going to be important. For others, what I'm feeling is that you are learning the lesson um, that is required of you, which is allowing this forward momentum to happen. But you're going to be asked to make sure that you maintain this up leveling that's happened. So you're being given this gift of clarity about how to move forward. And it may be unconventional for other people. You're just being asked to maintain. I don't really feel anything negative with this pairing right there at all. But at the end of the day, on Saturday, it's about rest and rejuvenation. It's about finally realizing that you've got to go in and you've got to get this healing or this communication that's coming in from universe to support you here. I really feel higher self has a lot to do with this. And someone's, someone's really being asked to be a caretaker for somebody else right now. <clears throat> Okay, what we have is the Seven of Cups. There's a multitude of options and choices. We have the Lovers in the Reverse Position. Gemini, there you are. I think that's you second-guessing yourself here. Or, let me just get this other... Wow, that was super fast. Yeah, I kind of felt that there was more than one energy in here. Wow, we got a story. Ooh, here we go. Okay, so Gemini, Seven of Cups with the Lovers is indicating that you are, per perhaps this is you that is resisting the rest and the rejuvenation that's required, but there's multiple options and there's a choice that it needs to be made here. Yeah, here we go again. The Knight of Cups wants to bring restoration and the High Priestess is trying to show you what you have to do in order to get this um, this effort, this this Knight of Cups, this White Knight energy, um, this restoration that's required. The High Priestess is trying to show you what that is here. And ultimately, it leads towards um, mm, codependency is what I'm seeing here. You've got this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse and you've got the Nine of Pentacles that is in the reverse position. So the Nine of Pentacles alone means that you're tied to someone or someone is tied to you because we have to swap the energies here in this particular reading to keep it fair. But that the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse position is just not quite, there's there's an adjustment that needs to be made and it's not comfortable for the other person or something that's very not comfortable and grounding with whatever this particular change happens to be. I'm going to take one more card on that. Let's go to our Oracle of Radiant Sun. There's definitely more than one energy that's involved in this, Gemini. I'm just trying to be honest. There's a loss. That's involved here. We've got Crow Spirit. <clears throat> it could be a changeover for a job for some people that's, re that's really getting ready to happen. And it could be affecting somebody else's thought process. Yeah, we've got Discovery that shows up here, which means that someone is looking for something new. Mercury and Sagittarius energy that shows up on that one. Yeah. We got the bluff card that shows up. So somebody is um, somebody is potentially looking at. <laughs> okay, so if you're married, someone in the relationship, because this could be swapped either way, is potentially s leaving their job or doing something with regards to job or position, and they're not really sharing the content with their spouse or their partner. The universe is saying that there's a lot of unity that can happen with that with that decision. But what's going to happen is somebody is going to get put out because you're not sharing the level of conversation with somebody else. Right. So that's not going to resonate with everyone. 
but that we've got the Gemini energy here with Jupiter is saying that this is going to have to be addressed. This is going to come out. And the loss that's happening here is mixing in with the discovery of something that's new. So there's something that is going to be changing over, which is what creates this feeling of instability with this queen of um, pentacles here in this, in this energy. As we move backwards again, the Gemini energy, the lover's energy with this seven of cups means there definitely is a decision that is coming up with regards to options that are here. So... Um, I could probably sit all day on this particular card to pull more out of it. But I think, like I'm saying, there's more than one energy that's involved. And I think I've done the best I can to try to give you the scenarios here in a general. Of course, if any of this makes sense to you and you want to get specific, you'd have to do a personal so that I could peel the layers for the energy. But let's move on towards Sunday because the star card comes back out. Restoration. Okay. Healing. Hope. What do you want? Let's call it out. Okay, Ten of Cups energy in the past, emotions overflowing, positive communication, having all the things that you need, um, a Three of Wands energy, like I said, forward momentum when it comes to a choice that is being made usually for business, but it can be collaboration for lots of different types of things as well. It's passionate energy, okay, and then... What's the outcome? The outcome is, yeah, someone's going to make a choice about something. So I really feel that the energy that's coming out of this whole situation has to do with your how you balance your communication with other people um, in, in sharing with them what it is that you want and why what you feel you want is the right thing to do. Um, so again, this is a lot of communication that's going to be coming out of this. Okay, there's a lot of detail that's going to be coming out of this. Um, look for Wednesday and Thursday and Friday to be the big deals. And again, at the end of the day, gratitude and acknowledgement of what you already have is going to be a huge blessing for you. Nature is going to be important for you to get out. And if you're frustrated with something, get out in nature. But again, the effort card pops out to indicate the amount of energy that you put into something is what you're going to be able to get out of it specifically. But again, I do feel that spirit is trying to communicate with you. Um, I do feel that there is a choice that's coming up. And, you know, if you're dealing with a lover or a loved one, um, something like that, this is all about your, your, your foundation and life together and those changes that are getting ready to occur. Okay. I'm going to pull an angel card really, really quickly. And then we're going to go into the individual... Uh, sun, moon, and rising for Gemini here, okay? All right, what do we got here, universe? Gemini, sun, moon, and rising, please. Oh, that was super fast. Thank you. Surrender. <laughs> so the surrender card comes in, and it's one of those cards that says, surrender what you think the outcome is supposed to be. Surrender the energy that you've been, like, like really trying to put into this. This is the let go and let God card or let source or let universe. Let them handle it. Tell them the problem. Tell them what you would like to see as the outcome and then back off. Put your order into the cosmic Amazon and know that it's going to show up. Now, it may show up in a way that is going to be best for the outcome of everyone that's involved. So you just have to give it space and breathe into that particular situation and know that they're going to take care of what it is that you need. But surrender, not surrender what you want, surrender the outcome. Okay. Don't put so much thought process into how it's supposed to come forward. That's for them to, de to determine. You got to invite that energy in though, Gemini. Okay. All right. So if you are a Gemini sun, this is what's going on for you. Okay. Eighth house of endings and beginnings, Scorpio energy, okay? And Pluto energy, 1111. Everything that you thought is, is going into a change, transition right now. This is what this week is for you. This is about the transformation, the ending of one thing and the beginning of something else coming through. That's what's going on here for you. If you are a Gemini rising, then the energy that you have is Capricorn, I use, okay? So the use card um, could mean a couple of different things, okay? I am i don't see substance in here as all at all. That's not really what I'm saying, but I use the energy as really kind of where I want to go with that. I use the energy towards what, okay? Um, 
I am trying to use the energy in different ways. So the universe is giving me the heads up here, this Capricorn energy that shows up here. And it does present itself astrologically more towards, I think it's Wednesday, Thursday. It's actually pretty on time with kind of where we're at here. Wednesday, Thursday energy is where Capricorn kind of comes in and plays a little bit. Um, definitely Saturday. But I use is the energy that pops up for you if you're a rising sign. So use this energy and use this information to your best advantage. Now, if you are a Gemini moon, we got three cards, okay? And I, again, I, I did say that this has a lot to do with, I feel, three different individuals. The first one is that this is seventh health, seventh health, <laughs> seventh house relationships, partners, okay? Your actual partner or business partner. We have Black Moon Lilith. Black Moon Lilith means that there's mystery and other information that you may not know about at this particular moment. Take a look at Lilith in your chart. Pull your chart and look at where Lilith happens to be. And the third energy, like I said before, is first house. It's the physical body itself. Someone out there is, there's this more health related or their partner is going through a health related type of a situation. And it's talking about finding out the mystery of the, of the health issue or situation within your partner. Okay, you can swap the energies. That's pretty much what I'm getting out of that one. So let's go ahead and round this out with the Starseed Oracle for each um, uh, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay, so Gemini Sun, please. Ah, that can't be all five cards. We're going to put those back in. We're going to shuffle up again and deal. All right, here we go. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Here we go. Gemini Sun, please. Gemini Sun is about spiritual union this is about the two of cups energy this is about two people coming together this is like-minded energy this is collaboration and at its highest form with some sort of relationship those are the two cards um gemini ascending please gemini rising thank you gemini moon please thank you all right here we go now gemini sun Okay, yeah, transformation, eighth house, endings and beginnings with regards to relationships. There's definitely a change that's coming. Spirit is trying to get your attention and they're trying to walk you down the path. The first one says cracked open. Some of you have hit rock bottom with the way something is going in your relationship at this particular moment, your situationship, whatever it happens to be at this moment. This is about alchemy of life. It's called being cracked open. And cracked open means... You can only go so many places. The universe is trying to get your attention. The other card that shows up here is Activated Earth. Okay, it's talking about power plays, places, energy lines, and universe saying to you, please trust where you're led to go. They're really trying to help open your eyes towards this transformation um, that you are going through. Gemini Sun. Gemini rising, your message is the seas of Mentanka, seeing the potential, bringing the unconscious to light. Again, Capricorn energy for you. I use, I use the information. That's what I'm getting out of this for you, okay? If you are Gemini moon, you have a couple of different things. There's soul memories and gifts that are coming out of this particular situation for you. It's called Lost Lands. You've done this before. That's part of the energy that's coming forward. And the other thing that's coming up is a loss of wisdom in a sense. Look a little bit deeper. There's hidden secrets that are involved in this whole situation. And your star ancestors are involved. And or you're being encouraged to call on your ancestors to help support you with the guidance that you might need for this particular week. Okay? All right. At the end of the day, something is not quite balanced. But you have the ability to... Um, help support and create that balance for moving forward again. Um, have gratitude for what it is that you currently have so that you keep your momentum and your vibration very, very high. Um, and you can call in the other things that you need. Nurture, nature is important. Um, the effort is going to be important, but surrender the outcome. Give that up to universe in order to take care of it at the end of the day. All right, Gemini, we have a card from Kuan Yin. Galactic Mother for Compassion. This is here the Yellow Tiger Mother. 
Sometimes we must be strong and hold true whilst all around us seems to be shifting and changing. The yellow tiger mother Kuan Yin in her guardian role is roaring within you, reminding you that you're a powerful being of light. And even whilst you're in the flow of the universal forces, your strong roots help you stand your ground as your light shines through. Okay, so you are going through a big shift right now, but you're supported. Um, all right, Gemini, I know that was a lot of information. Hopefully you were able to resonate with a good portion of this. If you did, please make sure that you give the video a like. Um, feel free to share it out. Feel free to comment below. Uh, again, if you're looking to coordinate a personal one-to-one -one reading because, you know, there's a lot that made sense and you want to dig in, make sure that you look at the description box below so that you can get my contact details and linking and booking information. And again, if you didn't get everything you needed out of this particular one, Gemini, make sure that you're looking at your sun sign, your moon sign, and your independent rising sign so that you can put the full picture together. That's what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for tuning back in. Many, many, many blessings, and we will talk to you soon. Bye for now.